Some people know Austria, many know Vienna, everybody knows Johann Strauss. At the age of 19, Johann Strauss II founded his own orchestra and performed for the first time in public. He played with such ardor that he set his audience into a real waltz frenzy and became the Waltz King. Johann Strauss gave concerts throughout the whole of Europe. In Paris, he played with his orchestra at a reception in honor of Emperor Napoleon III. In London, he led the promenade concerts in London's Covent Garden Theatre. To mark the occasion of the National Peace Jubilee, Strauss was invited to Boston, USA. In the specially built Colosseum, for the 50,000 listeners, Johann Strauss conducted a 1,000-person orchestra and became the star of this festival. <music> Johann Strauss composed standing at his lectern, never at the piano. Besides libretti, Johann Strauss did not read books and only seldomly visited theaters, concerts, or opera performances. He preferred to go to the Wiener Schrammel, a folk music ensemble that played in Vienna's wine taverns. He was a kind, humorous, and very humble man. Johann Strauss was married three times, but had no children. His first wife, seven years his senior, was the singer Yeti Trefts, a well-known soprano. Seven weeks after her death, he married Lily Dietrich, 25 years his junior. However, she betrayed him with the director of the Theater an der Wien, and Johann Strauss divorced her. His third wife was the young Adele Strauss. In 1873 to 1874, Johann Strauss wrote the greatest musical drama masterpiece of light entertainment, Die Fledermaus. It is the only operetta to be performed at the Vienna State Opera, always on New Year's. On the 22nd of May, 1899, the opera director of the time, Gustav Mahler, allowed Johann Strauss to conduct the overture of his Fledermaus at the State Opera. Just a few days later, Johann Strauss closed his eyes forever. Vienna Men's Choral Society invited Johann Strauss to pen a concert waltz for its Liedertafel, that is, the choir. He composed his first vocal waltz, the Blue Danube. In the same year, Johann Strauss conducted it at a party thrown by Princess Paulina Metternich at the Austrian Embassy in Paris. From there, the waltz started its journey around the entire world. 
just a few months after the premiere, this waltz was considered the most stunning of all of Strauss's compositions and even became Vienna's unofficial anthem.